Okay, so in this problem here, we have a continuous random variable x that has a probability density function given by this. We want to show that a is 3 quarters, find the cumulative distribution function, and then find the modal value of the random variable x. Well, it is a continuous random variable, and so I know that if I have this function, the total area underneath this curve has to equal to 1. And so if I want to find, I know that the integral from 0 to 2, which is all the possible values, and I'll take the a out front, and this is of 2x minus x squared dx. This has to be 1. This is part a. Because I know if it's a properly defined variable, total probabilities is 1. So now I just do some integral calculus on this. I pull out my a, take my integral, I get x squared minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 2, go to 1. Off. Plugging in my values, I know that I get 4 minus 8 thirds minus 0 equal to 1. Doing some math on here, I know that if this is 12 thirds, so I get 4 thirds times a. If you're not sure the 4 thirds, you can do the math yourself, is equal to 1. And so happily so, a is equal to 3 quarters, which is what I wanted to show in the first place. But this here, this is the key step here, that the total area has to be equal to 1. So the area underneath this curve is equal to 1. That's what this is saying. Now, moving on to B part, we want to find the cumulative distribution function. Well, let's do some thinking here for a second. Let's think about this function here. If I have a function, I know that it's going to be an upside down parabola. It looks like this function here. This is 0 and this is 2. And I've just defined the a value here to be 3 quarters so that the total area underneath the curve is equal to 1. But I want to know the cumulative distribution function. I'm not looking, what I want to do is I want to find the total, I'm going to add up this area as such. This is my variable x. I want to find out as x accumulates, as x moves, I want to find the given area. So in order to do that, if I want my cumulative distribution function, which is capital F of x, this is a function of x. As x changes, I accumulate area. And I'm going to go from 0 to x of this function here, little f of x, a little f of x, which consists of 3 quarters x. Well, but I've already used x, so I'm just going to change the variable to t and call it, it's just a dummy variable, times 2 minus t dt. I really want it in terms of x because that's the area I'm accumulating in with, and these, the t is just, I can't call it x and x, it gets confusing, it's just referring to the function itself. So I want to find the integral of this. Well, if I do some, pull out my 3 quarters, 0 to x, and I know I have 2t oh, minus uh, t squared dt. And then I go about and I will take my integral. So I get 3 quarters. I take the integral, I get t squared minus t cubed over 3 from 0 to x. Plug in my values in, I get 3 quarters x squared minus x cubed over 3. Plug the 0 in, that cancels away. And so I get 3 quarters x squared minus x cubed over 4. And this is the cumulative distribution function of x. And so to properly define it, I would say f of x is equal to 3 quarters x squared minus x cubed or 4 for 0 less than or equal to x 
less than or equal to 2, and 0 otherwise. All right, so now we've found the cumulative distribution function by taking the integral of my little f of x from 0 to x. And now finally, I want to find the modal value of the random variable x. Well, the modal value means the largest value. And so I want the maximum value up top. And so if I want to find the maximum, I know that the for c part, the mode is equal to the maximum of f of x. So if I take my function f of x, which is referring to up top here, if I steal this function here, Right, here's my function, f of x equals 3 quarters times 2x minus 3 quarters times x squared, which is simply simplifying this, 3 halves x minus 3 quarters x squared. Taking that, I wish to take the derivative. I'm going to find the derivative of this. So I'm looking for a maximum. The derivative is 3 halves minus 3 halves x. Set it equal to 0 for maximums. And when I do that, I get 3 halves is equal to 3 halves x. And so x is equal to 1. And so 1 is the mode of this particular random variable x. So in doing this problem, we use the idea that the total area underneath the curve has to be 1, that will find us a. Once we have a, the cumulative distribution function means I'm going to accumulate the area from 0 all the way up to this x value, whatever this is. And then finally the modal value is the maximum value of the graph. And so, oh, and so if I want the continuous distributions, for continuous distributions, we want the cumulative distribution function of the probabilities, well, that is f of x, and that oh, is always going to be from 0, or maybe I should say from negative infinity is better because it uses all values, to x of little f of t dt, which is our f of x will be the, will be the uh, probability density function. And I know this is true, and I also know that if I take the derivative of big F of x, I will get little f of x, the probability density function.